Thank you for joining us today at 2CuteBeads.com. I'm going to go through this tutorial showing you how we create our crystal flowers and what we use and the different things that will come in your kit so you also can do this. Um, I want to give you a close-up of what we're going to be working with. This is done with the 6106 and 4 millimeter bicones and green bale wire and this one is one of our newer ones in our kit which we fell in love with and we made our own vase but it's baby's breath in it which are four millimeter white pearls Swarovski and it's done with crystal hearts and four millimeter rounds whoops This is one of our crystal bouquets. And we make our vases with like the squares or uh, different beads that are included in your kits. Um, but this also is three different colors of the crystal hearts in limited edition colors and baby's breath. And this one also is done we haven't put it on a base yet, I just finished it, but this is um, the new shimmer in the 6106. I'm trying to get it so you can see it. And we use crystal hearts for the leaves. And what we have here for supplies is your kits come, um, most of them come with uh, a small tube of the E6000, which is plenty to do, quite a few flowers. And then the uh, stainless steel wire. Um, I've got some of my beads out here to get ready to show you how we create them. Um, you need a pair of bent nose. We use the bent nose, the round nose. Um, this is another base that we're sending out to you, and this is done with Swarovski crystal and dog tooth dog tooth amethyst bead and that's going to be our base our vase for our flowers so we're going to get started and i'm going to show you um how to create the different um patterns that we use these are all top drills they're all made with swarovski um and we have a lot of fun making them we have huge bouquets here let's start with making our leaves, because a lot of people have asked us how we do that. So, to make our leaf, I take about six inches of wire. I load three bicones on. <clears throat> And all these components are always included in each one of our crystal creation kits. So I come down to the middle and I fold my wire together. And I just twist it. Little ways down. Mm, maybe a quarter of an inch. It's up to you how long and you know where you want your leaves placed. No two look the same. And then I'm going to separate this wire. You have two left. And then on this wire, I'm going to load three. And bring it up. To about again maybe a quarter inch and start twisting and I'm going to twist it right down to where it meets the one I've already have and so then I'm going to take the other side and I kind of want it to be located here because as we know leaves are all over so I'm going to add three more bicones. counts. 
I'm going to make this one just in between those other two. Nice and tight. And I'm going to twist it right down to where it meets the other one. Then I'm going to take all of my wires and I'm going to twist them together. And you can twist them, you know, with your fingers or I like to use my bent nose when I'm doing this part. And sometimes if my vase of what I've decided to create with a vase or what's come in your kit has a smaller hole like the dog tooth, tooth amethyst, then what I need to do is just twist it down a little bit here and then I need to cut off one of the wires so that I only have the one wire going in because I'm going to be adding more flowers. so that I would only have the one wire going in. And that's how we create the leaf. And then it's the same premise that we use for doing the leaf we do for our baby's breath. Only sometimes we put five on the baby's breath. So again, I use the same wire And I load three. And I bring them together. And I twist them. I don't go too far down. Separate my wires. Load three more. I'm going to bring them pretty close. Twist it. Take my other one. Three more beads. Twist it right down to my other one. I've got three on here now, so I've got to twist this one a little tighter. And I'm going to add a fourth one to this. You can go four or five, or you can go all the way down, you know, depending on how long you want your stem. You know, if you're going to use regular vases and do a crystal creation, then you need to use more wire, more beads, you know, and uh, make your stems a lot longer. Okay, so on this one now, I have my baby's breath. I'm going to take it and twist them all together. Nice and tight. Now we have our baby's breath. 
and for our heart leaves that we use on our larger creations. We usually use three or five three or five leaves, but all you do is take it through. I mean, it's very, very simple. You just take it through and do the same thing. You just want to make sure you twist it, and then instead of trying to do it with your fingers, you do use your bent nose because you want them nice and tight so that you can go ahead and bend them and arrange them in the way you want them. And if they're too loose, they're, they're just not going to stay in place. So you really do need to twist this tight. And we put each one of them on an individual. And that's how on here we have ours all on an individual. And a lot of times what we'll do is we'll, if your kit includes this, it's because we need it for support. We also add the four millimeter bicone so we can get that nice bend on there. Oops, losing my flowers. So now we'll start with a small flower and I use the stainless steel. And about a five inch piece. And I'm gonna load my hearts on, and this one is going to use six hearts. It doesn't matter how you put them on. The only ones that are going to matter is if you have a um, AB finish or a satin finish on them, then you want to kind of put them all in the same direction. And then I take my wire and I'm going to back through three beads. I'm going to pull my wire nice and tight. And that's why I like to use the bent nose because I sometimes with my hands I just can't get it tight enough. So nice and tight. I'm going to load my round. Bring my wire and cross it through. Center it. Get my bead in there. I bring this wire back behind me, pull them up nice and tight, get as close as I can, and again you just start twisting. Creating your stem. Some of the kits are a single flower, some are doubles, some have three. But there's my flower with the hearts. Now we're going to create the pair, which I need to load them all in the same way. This was aquamarine AB, so I want them all facing the same direction.
we're doing the same thing. Three down, and we go back through three. And you need to make sure that you're always centering with your wire so that you have equal on both sides. So you can see what I have here. So on this one, I'm going to bring my wires up instead of going behind right now. I'm bringing my wires up and again going through the round. And take my bent nose and pull my wires tight. Then I'm going to kind of cup it. And this one I have to twist a little bit more than with the others. And on this one I didn't actually get it tight enough. I didn't pull tight enough, but that's what it would look like. But I didn't get it tight enough back here. So this one I'm going to have to go back and start again because I just did not pull my wires as tight as I needed to. Getting them a little bit tighter. I can see where I did it. I did it right here. I didn't pull tight enough. But <clears throat> had I pulled tight enough, the flower would look like this. Or like one of the other ones I've done. But moving on, again, we're going to take another piece, and this is our briolette. This is one of our briolette flowers. And this is one of my favorites. And it's again three on top. This time I'm going to pull my wire tight enough. And I'm just going to twist it, a couple of twists. And I'm going to set it down for a minute. And I'm going to take another piece of wire. And 
And this is one of our newer flowers. So I'm going to add another set of smaller briolettes. And a lot of times I'll also do this <clears throat> uh, with our pear pendant because I do like to uh, put centers in them and just come up with different things. Okay, so on this one now, Bring my wires up. I'm going to put my center in and if everything works out well. This will go in the center of the first set that I made. my wires together start wrapping and I'm just going to do a couple and if I'm lucky and everything's turned out well I should have picked a different color I think for a center but this one should be able to go right through here too much of a problem. And then I should be able to wrap them. My fingers. Until I can get it nice and tight. And then I have all my wires together. And be kind of careful. Oops, I lost one of my beads. I missed my wire on the bead. But you can you get the idea of what it would look like. And actually. I think it would probably look nicer with five instead of the six. So that may be what I do and give it a little bit more room. And then if I wanted to get a little bit more elaborate, I could take both of these through this one and that would be a really pretty center. So then I'd have three layers in that. So hope you enjoyed. Come back and see us again. We'll be creating more flowers with the beads around here. We are an authorized Frosky crystal dealer, so we always are playing with crystal on a daily basis. Hope you enjoyed.